All right, now I want to show you the feature of projecting it onto a mesh a little bit. So what happens here is you can see that I spent some time getting this close. And then afterwards, what I want to do is um, get it to where the computer is automatically doing it for me. I, I generally turn on this feature after I get a few of these wound, only because then you get a better variance of things. So here, if I highlight this object, hold shift, highlight this object, hit tab, it goes into edit mode. I have snapping turned on, I have it snapping to face, active, and then I have this button on also. Whew, a lot of buttons, right? All that will equal this. Okay, let's see if I have it like this one right here. So notice that it's not touching. Now it is. So it's just me going in here and manually touching this and scoshing it around a little bit and automatically it pops right into place. Now remember where you turned that on at because it's not always good to have it on. It's kind of a pain. Let's say uh, when I duplicate this piece over, I'll have to definitely turn that off or everything will snap to the, the original object and it's, yeah, it's awkward. So just know that's where the snapping feature is and know how to turn it off. You can turn it off by just clicking this. Okay, let's turn it off for a second. Let's highlight this in object mode. Shift D and then move it down. Okay, now this one has its own. I can now go in here and X on the keyboard, delete selected, and that'll allow an opening. So what happens? Well, I can actually uh, connect these two together if I wanted to. I, I'll probably do that via mesh rather than any other method I can think of off the top of my head. So what I'll do here is go like this. Leaving this gap, I can connect the vertices later. For right now, I have to worry about this right here. Okay, so I can highlight many vertices at the same time. Let's box select. So I'm just going to move these down just a little bit. And kind of straighten these out. There we go. And yes, this becomes a huge thing of matching the two together. So it all depends what you want to do in life. Do you want to spend the time trying to uh, merge these together? Or do you want to spend the time um, actually producing more via extrude? Okay. The real secret here is, you know, I'm training you to navigate 3D, get used to modeling, so every once in a while, a repetitive task is very good for the soul. It's good for practice. It's good for that dexterity thing that students get. You play video games all the time. What happens over time? Well, you get better at video games because you get used to the buttons. Same philosophy with software. All right, so I wanted to show you that snapping feature and how to duplicate over 
That way you don't have to spend too much time uh, creating new extrude points every time. As you can see, it's still costing me some time issues, but that's okay. Meet me in the next video where we can convert this over to a mesh, and that way we can like seal up this gap right here. Another thing you want to do is worry about doing that tuck thing just like you did here. So get it all straightened out. Uh, make it look like a knot in the end. It's just good modeling. And afterwards, uh, meet me in the next video.